minutes ago, our Michael Grady caught up with Levert. Kara's given everything in the last you know, 24 hours. You know, no Kevin, the, the lineup switch tonight. You know, how, how satisfying is a, is a win like this as a group? Uh, it's really satisfying, um, especially because we played, you know, so well in the defensive end, uh, kind of where we've been struggling at. You know, we feel like we can score with anybody in the league um, offensively. We knew that was a matter of time before that came back. But, you know, defensively, we weren't on the same page. And I feel like tonight we took a step in the right direction. I know you're motivated each game, but did you feel like you were kind of you, you were getting closer to breaking out of your slump? You had 24 and 21 minutes. How close did you feel to breaking out heading into tonight? Um, honestly, I never really felt like I was, you know, in a slump. I feel like a slump is like mental, mentally. You know what I'm saying? Um, mentally, I was good. I was. I've been good. You know, I've been, you know, um, sticking to my habits. You know, getting good work in, um, and my shots all felt good. So I never really felt like I was kind of in a slump. Um, tonight, my shots went in, and you know, uh, I know that'll be sustainable going forward. Greg Logan, Newsday. Uh, Karis, uh, when you look at the lineup changes and getting like Joe back on the floor with you, having TLC out there, uh, you guys had 66 bench points. So, what what did these changes do for you? Because because. Uh, Steve talked about your playmaking before, and you had a lot of guys out there to make plays for. Yeah, I'm definitely very comfortable playing with Joe and TLC. Um, you know, putting a lot of chemistry and time with those guys, so I think um, they're comfortable playing with me as well. So uh, we kind of just have that natural synergy out there on the court, and uh, I think it definitely showed tonight. Alex Schiffer, The Athletic. Hey, Karis, I got two for you. The, the turnovers, the defense, and the rebounding were some things you guys were struggling with. Just what, what about all three of those was better tonight? And then what do you think of Jared's game? Uh, well, first with J.A., I think, you know, Jay's really playing great basketball right now. Um, the whole season he's been playing great basketball. But tonight, um, I think he definitely took a step forward um, in his own maturation, you know, playing against one of the best defensive centers in the NBA um, and outplaying him tonight, in my opinion. Um, and he, he played really good basketball tonight for, you know, the whole game. So that was definitely great to see uh, because we know how much he works, you know, behind the scenes. And um, it's been cool to see his development over the past, what, four years now. So um, from where he was from day one till today, I think he's a totally different player. Um, and he's only going to get better uh, going forward. You know, the turnovers were uh, down a lot tonight. I think we really shared the ball, knocked down shots, and kept it moving. Um, so the offense looked really good tonight. Christian Winfield, New York Daily News. Hey, Karis, I got two from you, two for you as well. Uh, one, what have you seen from Bruce, be it in practice or in training camp, uh, that let you know he was ready to perform the way he did today in the starting lineup? And then two, uh, for you, you started 0-5, and then I believe you made eight of your next nine shots. Just did you did you feel something switch, or did someone say something to you, or did you do anything to kind of turn it around? Uh, for Bruce, you know, he's been playing hard each and every day in practice. They call it the extra work group. Uh, the guys that, you know, get kind of low minutes to, you know, no minutes some games. He's always in there playing as, as well as the other guys, you know, um, who got some minutes tonight. Um, and I feel like everybody was ready. You know, anybody who's called in that position was ready. And Bruce got his number called today, and he was ready, and he really helped us get that win tonight. Uh, he was great defensively and offensively making plays as well. So uh, that was huge for him. Uh, for our team, you know, and for me, uh, honestly, it didn't didn't really affect me. Um, I didn't even know I was over five. Like I said, my shots felt good. I had a couple go in and out, a couple that I felt like should have dropped. Um, so I mean, like I said, everything everything has felt good, and it's only a matter of time um, before I have one of these games. Bruce Beck, NBC New York. Harris, how do you balance being aggressive out there with with being patient? Tonight you were very aggressive, and you, you know you scored 11 points more than your average. Um, you know, uh, that's just how I play basketball. Um, with a lot of you know um, attacking out there, and that's what they need in the second unit. That's what we need as a team in the second unit. Um, so I mean, that's that's kind of the spark that I'm going to give for this team for sure. Tom Dowd, BrooklynNets.com. Hey, Kyrus, you know, the start that Kyrie got off to tonight with no Kevin and with kind of a new group out there with him, how significant was that to just setting the game in the direction that it went? I mean, Kai's been playing like that every game, to be honest with you. So uh, nothing he does kind of amazes us, to be honest. It's like 
you know, we kind of expect that from him. Um, it was a great start. You know, he took the shots that the defense gave him, um, and he was very efficient out there. He was great at leading as well, talking on the defensive end, talking us through plays on offense as well. Uh, with the new group he was out there with, um, I think that's, you know, that's really underrated, playing with a new group out there. You know, Bruce, that was his first time playing first start this year. Um, and, I mean, it looked very seamless offensively, so I think Kai should get a lot of credit for that for sure.